How's it going, Pokemon trainers? I'm Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching another Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi Pokemon Battle video here. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Today's opponent is going to be against Stephanie, one of my longtime rivals. And in this particular video, we're going to try out Mega Deonsi and some other Pokemon like a Shiny Volcarona, a Dragon Dance Lapras, a Spets Rotom, regular form, and then I threw together my Mian Shao and Gudra to fit in the remaining two slots there. So that's the team that I brought to this battle. I just wanted to try out some new Pokemon that I recently trained up. And yep, there you go. And then my opponent's side here, Stephanie. I found her a lot and I know most of her sets. I know her Cofferigus, her Umbreon, her Togekiss, and her Slowking, and her Furfro. So I know five of her Pokemon really well. I just have to know what the Blaziken is going to be about. Of course, Mega Blaziken is banned from standard OU play or overused tier battles I normally play on my channel. Otherwise, I would be playing another tier. But anyway, so, so we know most of her Pokemon. I'm not too bothered by any of her guys, really. I, I think the only threat that I have to be worried about is probably the Togekiss or her Slowking. But everything else is okay, so let's jump in into the match and I hope you all enjoy. Alright, let's do this. Alright, you guys, so the match is here. So she's going to start out with her Cofagrigus. I'm going to start out with my Zap Sonic, the Rotom. Go for a trick here. I figured she would go for a toxic on the first turn, and I was correct on that prediction. She could have easily went for a Shadow Ball, which would be super effective against my Zap Sonic here, but I figured she wouldn't do that. And now she's stuck on using Toxic because I handed over my choice specs. Go for a Volt Switch to get out of there, expecting to switch out to Umbreon, and then go into Mega Deonsi, or just regular Deonsi. That was a really good turn of events right here. Like I said, this is a Mega Deonsi, so we'll be Mega Evolving here. I've decided to go for the Mega Evolution now, just because I have Protect on the first turn when you're Mega Evolving. Your speed is still the same from the previous form, and then the next turn, your speed will be the Mega Form speed. There's. If that's confusing, don't worry. It's not that. You know. Anyway, so with that said, we see Umbreon go for Toxic, and I'm like, that's a little bit strange. But then, yes, I have Magic Bounce, the ability of Mega Deonsi, but of course, Umbreon's ability. Synchronize will hand over the poison to my side as well, so we both get poisoned in this scenario. That's all I'm saying. I didn't have to make it so complicated, but yes, that's what happened there. I go for Moonblast. I figured no one would want to take a hit. I can hit virtually everything on the field, so here's the code of his. And like I said, I thought that would be a issue this fight, but just for code kiss. I have Diamond Storm, and that's really a nice thing to see there that I can miss. I kind of miss Diamond Storm a lot with my Mega Deonsi, but that's super effective against Togekiss because it's part flying. And like I said, we have another issue, which is the Slowking, because Slowking has Scald and it could get a burn off that because Scald has a 30% chance of a burn unless it's being used against you, which is 100%. Not really, but that's just what happens. 
So I go into my Assault Fest Gudra and that was a critical hit from the Scald earlier. Then she goes for a physical attacking move, Ice Punch, which will ignore the Assault Fest because that's a physical move and not a special move. I just go for a Dragon Pulse really, nothing else. I didn't feel like going for a Power Whip and Miss because I missed that move too. And I would make her guess that I was either a choice best variant or a choice scarfed Gudra. But no, I'm just assault tested. I just continue going for a Dragon Pulse. With that said, I go back into my Zap Sonic. I expected a switch out and I go with a Volt Switch. Get out of there, go back into Mega Deoxy and we do take poison damage but that's not going to matter too much in my opinion at least. So I'm going to continue going for a Moon Blast. Going to hit the Slowking. I could lower its special attack, but we don't get that. It's a little bit, you know, unfortunate to say the least, but even still, we're going to outspeed it anyway. If Slowking was either, I don't know, if Slowking was faster, then I would be worried. But that's nothing to worry about because Mega Gansi is really fast. And like I said, Moonblast hits everything. It's super effective against Blaziken. And I wasn't really sure what to expect from Blaziken. So we go into my Golden Bird. That's right. That's the nickname that I gave to this Volcarona. Even though that does not have a nickname. This Pokemon was traded from another person. But the nickname for this Shiny Volcarona is Golden Bird. The Golden Bird! That's right. We expect a switch out, so we went for the Quiver Dance and then we go for a Fiery Dance too. So we not only set up, but we do take care of Cofagrigus and then we get our special attack boost from the Fiery Dance because Fiery Dance can raise your special attack by a couple of stages there. And Bug Buzz is super effective against Slowking, so Slowking is down. I am Life Orb. That is a little unfortunate. I don't have Morning Sun. I have Giga Drain. Giga Drain is another move that will restore your health, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be using that move in this particular battle. So we see Laser can protect right here. I expected that, so why not go for another Quiver Dance? That was an easy play there, and then we can get another special attack boost. Just, it's great. I get a plus two attack, or a plus two speed boost, and then a plus three or plus four special attack boost. So we're signing up huge right now with Volcarona, the golden bird. Just destroying everything in its path. If it's a cast, we take care of Umbreon. And I didn't feel like destroying my opponent like that, so we're going to switch out. We've had enough with Golden Bird. Golden Bird did a lot in this battle. You know, like, who's Golden Bird? Well, if you haven't heard, that's my shiny full Corona that I decided to nickname it. And all that aside though, we're going to hit the fur flow here with a Moon Blast yet again. This particular Deoxy here, this was the event Deoxy that's going on. I don't know what is up with that because we already had a Deoxy event from last November. I don't know why they got another Deoxy event. But I got this one. This is a Kim in Nature with Earth Power, a move that will take care of Steel types that wall Deoxy. And yeah, we lose him because I lost... Actually, I... I, I I went down to the poison, that's all I'm saying. Anyways, we're going to finish the matchup with Viper here. Viper the Mian Shao with a high jump kick, and that's the match. So, that was a really fun match. I didn't get a chance to use my Dragon Dance Lapis this fight, but that's neither here nor there. There's always a next time. But me and Stephanie, we've been having some awesome battles. And this one was an example of that. So, if you guys enjoyed this particular Wi-Fi battle, hit that like button and subscribe for more content in the near future. It is August 1st, so more Wi-Fi battles to come in August. And I will be sure to upload them as 
time goes on. All right, you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye, trainers.